Hi everyone, it's Sal here. Welcome back to another perfume video. I hope you're doing well. So as you can see, today's video is going to be a little bit different um, from the usual style of video. I did have a proper video scheduled to go up today, uh, Monday, but when I went into the video I realised that the file was actually corrupted. So I couldn't use that, um, I couldn't use it anymore. So I wasn't going to have a video for today, but I kind of thought, um, why not just film like a really nice, easygoing, relaxed style of video and see if it can um, do instead. So we'll see how this goes and it may very well go up for Monday's video, but it might not. I'll, I'll just see how it goes basically. So what I thought I would do today is I have some perfumes here that I've kind of been wearing recently um, over the last week or so. I've also got my nice frothy coffee with me, which is um, really delicious. I'm just going to have some just now. So good. So as you can see, quite a few different fragrances here. Um, I'm not going to go through these in any particular order. Like I say, these are all fragrances I've kind of been wearing recently. Um, I do have a few kind of interesting layering combinations as well, which I think would be kind of cool. Um, a few of you I noticed asked in the comments if I could um, talk about layering combinations a little bit more. So I have a few really good ones to briefly touch on today, actually. Um, so I, I guess that's where I'll start then. Um, first up, I'm going to mention Ellie Saab Girl of Now. This fragrance right here. And I've actually been wearing this fragrance with my Alien together. Now, um, this was a suggestion from a subscriber. And um, the reason that they mentioned this particular layering combination was because they had heard it was kind of similar to Alien Essence Absolute. And um, I gave it a try and to me it does smell fairly similar to Alien Essence Absolute. I would say it's around about 85% similar. Um, but the funny thing is I actually prefer <laughs> this layering combination over the original Alien Essence Absolute, which I have tried. I have a little decant of it. Um, to me, this combination, as in, you know, if you spray equal parts of each of these, it's a very smooth, well-blended, um, seamless kind of combination, you know, but the original Alien Essence Absolute has a slight kind of medicinal edge to it and it's a bit spicier. So, you know, in, in actual fact, I do prefer these two together because it's just a, a smoother smell overall. And um, yeah, it's a really gorgeous combination. I would really recommend it, you guys. If you own both of these fragrances, definitely give it a shot. And let me know what you think of the combination. I think it was a fantastic idea to layer them. Uh, to me, they just smell absolutely gorgeous together. It's kind of a nice combination for when I'm not feeling fully committed to wearing Alien alone, if that makes sense. And at the same time, if I don't want something as intensely sweet as Girl of Now on its own. I think they're really good at kind of balancing each other out, if you know what I mean. And it's just a really, really awesome <laughs> combination. So that's the original Elisab Girl of Now layered with um, Alien Eau de Parfum. Um, I've just realised that filming in this way is a really great excuse to actually show off my nails today. Um, I have been making a bit more of an effort with my nails recently. This is a new one that I recently got. Um, I'll, I'll leave details of which nail polish this is down below in case you guys are interested. It's a new one I bought just the other day. I thought it would be kind of nice to have a very vibrant red for the for the Christmas time. Um, so anyway, that's Alien Eau de Parfum and Ellie Saab Girl of Now. Another layering combination that I've been wearing quite a lot recently is um, the original Lintrudy Eau de Parfum layered with Lintrudy Intense. And again, this is another one of those scenarios where they both kind of balance each other out. This is a much more diffused, uh, softer version of Lintrudy, in my opinion, um, the, the Intense one. And the original Eau de Parfum is a very sharp fragrance in a lot of ways. So actually, when you wear them kind of both together, they balance each other out and it's kind of um, 
more of a pleasant experience so I found. I've enjoyed wearing these two together. I mean I love wearing the Intense on its own but I think for the days when I've worn this- uh, oops. <laughs> for the days when I've worn this original one um, and I found it a little bit sharp I would just kind of spray some of the Intense generally around me as well and it takes the edge off that sharpness and it adds a really beautiful soft dimension to it as well. Um, just because this one is creamier and smoother and you know things like that so that was a really nice combination that I have worn you know to work recently like a few days ago actually. Another fragrance that I've been wearing a lot of uh, recently is another layering combination actually and it's Glistening Amber from Juicy Couture layered with my Black Opium fragrance and something I noticed about this one is just how much of that I've actually worn and um, that's like so much you know luckily I have a backup bottle but I was really quite surprised at just how much of this fragrance I have actually worn um normally I don't put such a dent in my fragrances but um I did notice that so I've been getting some really good use out of this one so it seems so yeah black opium with glistening amber it's a really nice layering combination um this fragrance kind of adds an interesting dimension to the, you know, otherwise very recognisable black opium type of scents. This just adds something a little bit different to it, it kind of adds a bit of a twist and um, they blend very seamlessly together. So I've really been enjoying these two there. Next up, of course, we have the Mugler Aura Eau de Parfum. One of my kind of go-to fragrances, so it seems. I really do enjoy wearing this one. And um, oh, how festive does that look? The green and red together. It reminds me of a Christmas tree, that, or Christmas tree decorations. Um, but it turns out that this, you know, is one of my easy reach kind of fragrances. I have been wearing this one a lot recently. Um, in particular, when I go to work, I quite like to reach for this one. Um, even even if I'm having an off day, I actually quite like wearing this fragrance. There are quite a lot of perfumes where if, if I was having maybe an off day, I wouldn't want to reach for them because I wouldn't want to associate maybe like a negative mood with them. But for some reason, I would reach for this one regardless. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those perfumes that I can kind of just rely on no matter how I'm feeling, no matter if it's a good day or a bad day. It doesn't really... Um, matter either way I can still feel very comfortable reaching for this fragrance and I think you know from that point of view it's really amazing you know it's really nice to have a perfume like this that I don't have to think too much into wearing um, particularly for going to work and things like that just day-to-day -day life <laughs> this has been a really good one for me and I don't know if you can see but there is there's actually quite a big dent in that I hadn't realized until right now but it does seem as though I have um, worn a fair bit of this one. I really like the fact that you can refill these bottles so I'm not really too worried about going through this one you know too quickly because I can just get the bottle like refilled which is quite nice. So that is Mugler Aura, a really gorgeous sweet um, thick vanilla woody mentholy <laughs> medicinal green type of unusual fragrance that I've really been enjoying recently. Um, I have been wearing it quite a lot. It's been one of my easy reach type of scents over the last like month or so. And uh, the next perfume I'm going to mention today is Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme and this is a fragrance that I wore as my scent of the day was it yesterday. So I wore this one yesterday and um, it was just the perfect day for it you guys. I mean it was actually snowing <laughs> here in Scotland so it was snowing a little bit. Um, I was all wrapped up you know and I was walking up to work and I wore this fragrance. It was just the perfect cold weather wintry cozy type of scent you know. And, um, and yeah, I just really enjoyed wearing it that day. I was really in the mood for a very wintry fragrance that day, just because it was snowing and I really wanted something to kind of make me feel a bit cosier. And this one definitely did the trick. It's a really gorgeous scent. Um, and I was quite happy about that as well because it's not one, apart from yesterday, on the whole, I wouldn't say that I've been reaching for this one an awful lot. Um, 
so I would like to start actually wearing it more, especially as we're into the winter now, and this is a really gorgeous winter fragrance, so I was quite glad that I picked it up yesterday as my scent of the day. Oh, this coffee is going down a tree, let me tell you. <laughs> um, next up, I'm gonna show you this fragrance here, and this is my Angel Eau de Toilette from Mugler. I have really been enjoying wearing this one. It's a really, really pretty scent. Um, very comforting, actually, and a really nice one for when you want a kind of sweet fix. So um, this fragrance is kind of fruity. It gives me sort of gourmand vibes. It's really gorgeous with an almost chocolatey-like feel to it, but it's um, not nearly as heavy as the Eau de Parfum, you know? So this doesn't have that patchouli-like feeling to it. It's not really chalky or dusty or powdery at all. It's um, fluffy, you know, it has a fluffy, light, lightweight kind of texture to it. And it's just really gorgeous. I've thoroughly been enjoying this one. Very easy to wear, very, very feminine, quite flirtatious, um, fun, kind of a mood lifter as well. And I've just really been enjoying it. And um, similarly, I have also been enjoying the matching hair mist. So um, whenever I wear my Angel, I will sort of try and remember to wear this one alongside. And they are gorgeous together, obviously, you know, they complement each other very well. And this is a really, this is a stunning hair mist. It smells really nice. And um, I've just been really enjoying these two together. So there we have it, you guys. Um, <laughs> let me know in the comments what you thought of this type of video. I know it's not the usual type of thing I would do. Um, you know, like I mentioned at the start, I did have a video scheduled actually to go up today in the normal format, you know, as in I'm actually in the video, but there was a technical error with the file, which meant that it couldn't actually go live. And I thought I would maybe just try and do a bit more of an impromptu last minute type of relaxed style of video. But I'll see, I'll see what you guys think of it in the, the comments. Um, let me know which fragrances you've been wearing recently or any layering combinations that you'd like to share with everyone. I think maybe at the start I kind of underestimated layering. To be quite honest with you, at the start, you know, before I wouldn't necessarily pay much attention to layering. I couldn't really be bothered with it, if you know what I mean. But recently I have discovered some really nice combinations, in particular these two. These smell incredible together to the point where, you know, in, in my opinion, it actually smells nicer than Alien Essence Absolute, you know, and um, they can really, really enhance each other. So that was a really, really nice find. And um, of course, similarly, these two are gorgeous together and also these two. So, so let me know what you think of layering. Is it something that you actually do or do you not really bother with that? Um, let me know in the comments. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Take care and I look forward to seeing you very soon in the next one. Bye!